Welcome to Unstuffy and Unstoppable, the South Coast Symphony's new 30-minute streaming music series. I have been hearing from a number of patrons who would like to know how they can see previous episodes. It's easy. The symphony has a brand new user-friendly website. Just go to www.southcoastsymphony.org. Once there, just click the Watch Now button to see that episode. To watch previous episodes, just scroll down the screen, check the episode you'd like to see, and click on it. It's that easy. Good evening and welcome to the South Coast Symphony. Now I know you can watch us on your computer or tablet, but for a really great symphonic viewing experience, watch us on your smart TV. It's a big picture and big sound. If you would like step-by-step -step instructions on how to watch us on your smart TV, go to our website and at the very top, click the contact tab, and then just send us an email with your request. Now for some really simple instructions on how to find a YouTube app on your smart TV. Just ask any teenager and they'll be happy to help. Tonight, we feature the symphony's woodwind quintet led by principal flautist, Ben Barth. I'll let Ben tell you all about the musicians, what exactly makes up a woodwind quintet, and provide program notes on the selections they will be performing. Enjoy this evening's classical presentation. Good evening. My name is Ben Barth, and you may have seen me in the flute section of the South Coast Symphony, along with my wonderful associate, Mary Opperman. As Maestro Silverman mentioned, in this episode, we will be featuring the Woodwind Quintet, which is comprised of flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, and bassoon. You might ask, why is there a French horn in the Woodwind Quintet? Isn't that a brass instrument? And of course, the answer is, yes, it is in the brass family. So what's it doing in a Woodwind Quintet? Well, one theory is that the modern Woodwind Quintet evolved from the Wind Octet, which was popular in the late 18th century, which included two oboes, two clarinets, two horns, and two bassoons. Tonight's performance will feature what we'd like to call the Nomac Quintet, in honor of our dear, dear friend, the late Norman MacDonald. Norman was one of the founders of the South Coast Symphony. His passion for music and dialogue as a means to bridge people from all walks of life will live on in the hearts of many people. After a hiatus with Norm's passing, the excellent French hornist and member of South Coast Symphony's world-class French horn section, Kristen Morrison, very graciously offered her time and talent, despite her very busy schedule and long drive, to help us continue Norm's legacy with the quintet. Kristen grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After making Southern California her home, she became a very active freelance musician. She is principal horn of the Desert Symphony in Palm Desert and holds tenure positions with the Oregon Coast Musical Festival Orchestra, San Bernardino Symphony, and of course, South Coast Symphony, among others. As for myself, I've been performing with the symphony for over 20 years and have been a member of the board of directors for over 15 years. I began playing the flute in fourth grade and by sixth grade, I was studying with Dent Williamson, professor of flute at Trenton State College. I won a concerto competition at the age of 12 and performed as a soloist with the Lawrenceville Symphony in New Jersey. After graduating, I made my way over to Ashland, Oregon, where I joined an eclectic band performing original jazz, rock, and classical fusion in the Southern Oregon area. I later moved to Los Angeles where I developed a successful career in financial services and raised my daughters while continuing to perform as much as I could. It was actually in the flute section of the South Coast Symphony that I met my wife, Janice, who recently retired from the symphony after 20 years of playing flute and piccolo in the symphony. On oboe is Anne Ludwig. Anne grew up in Buffalo, New York. No stranger to snow is she. 
She received a bachelor's degree in music from Oberlin College and a master's degree in oboe performance from the New England Conservatory of Music. She and Maestro Barry Silverman were team teachers for Capistrano Unified School District, and Anne played under his baton since shortly after she moved here in 1988. Our bassoonist is Bill Hunker. Bill is a native of St. Louis. He majored in bassoon performance at Indiana University and continued his bassoon studies at Rice University in Houston. Bill performed for six years with the San Diego Symphony. During that time, he participated in music outreach programs in local schools throughout Orange County. He's now an instrumental music teacher in the Capistrano Unified School District. On clarinet is Dr. Howard L. Stevens. Howard was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. He received a Bachelor of Music Education degree from Ohio State University, a Master of Music from West Virginia University, and a Doctor of Musical Arts from the University of Southern California. Howard has had an incredible teaching career in music spanning 41 years, directing high school instrumental music and choir programs in the Toledo Public School System, Huntington Beach Union District, and the Saddleback Valley Unified School District. In his free time, he participates in USBC and senior PBA regional bowling tournaments, is a billiards enthusiast, enjoys photography, and loves to travel. Thank you, bachelor number one. And now on to our music. Tonight, we will be performing Anton Rega's Woodwind Quintet, Opus 88, Number 2, in E-flat. Anton Rega was born in Prague in 1770 and spent the majority of his career as a composer, flutist, and music theorist in Paris and Vienna. Rega was widely respected as a professor of composition and theory at the Paris Conservatory, and his pupils include such names as César Franck, Charles Gounod, Franz Liszt, and Hector Berlioz. Not a bad list of students. He was a contemporary and friend of Beethoven, who he met while in the flute section of the court of the Elector of Cologne Orchestra. Beethoven was actually in the viola section at the time. The 24 quintets of Anton Reca form the basis for the early quintet repertoire and were in fact responsible for the actual establishment of this instrumental grouping of flute, oboe, clarinet, horn, and bassoon. The E-flat major quintet, Opus 88, number two, is perhaps the best known of all of them. Rika structures the quintet in four movements in a sequence that is common for string quartets. The opening movement, lento, allegro, moderato, begins with a short and slow four-bar introduction. This serves to draw the listener into the sound of the quintet, an introductory phase that you often hear in classical era works by Haydn, Beethoven, and others. The second movement is structured in four sections, Minuetto, Trio 1, Minuetto Trio 2, and the Coda. Reiko offers a counterbalance to the dance motion of the second movement with the third movement, the Poco Andante. Set in B-flat major, this movement begins with a four-bar theme from the oboe. A fugal section follows the main section of the movement with the bassoon kicking things off. A virtuosic solo is featured in the flute part as the fugue subject continues to develop, giving way to a glorious horn solo that brings the movement to a close. The last movement, the finale, Allegretto, opens with a series of thematic statements that feature sudden shifts between piano and forte dynamics. Rekha infuses the music with the quality of country dances here. The second theme heard in the clarinet and horn is particularly pastoral sounding. The instruments combine for a jubilant rush to the final extended E-flat major cadence with a fabulous flourish from the clarinet. We would like to give a special thanks to the San Juan Capistrano Community Presbyterian Church for the use of the beautiful facility there, and of course to all of our patrons whose continued support of the symphony allows all of us associated with the South Coast Symphony to stay unstuffy and unstoppable.
Next week, we present the South Coast Symphony's Brass Ensemble, featuring our principal players. In the coming weeks, we will feature violin prodigy Kevin Mura, the music of Broadway, opera arias, and some holiday favorites. So until then, good night. <laughs>